Hello, in this video, I will show you a new technique for matching the skin color of a series of photos using Lightroom and 3D LUT Creator. I took several photos from the wedding. As you can see, they were taken in different light conditions, with backlight, with flash, with natural light, under direct sun, indoor with flashes, in the evening, in the shade, and so on. All photos are not edited and have a very variating color of skin. Bringing the skin tone to the same color is a time-consuming process, especially when it's done by eye or by numbers. So I want to suggest to you a new way that became possible with the new release of 3D LUT Creator. In this method, we will use a soft proof profile, and it will allow you to bring the skin to the same color much easier. You will be much less dependent on the monitor calibration. You can do this part of the work on the cheap laptop, even if it doesn't display colors accurately. And on this part of the workflow, you will have less need to rely on the eyes, which means you do not have to strain your eyesight so much. So let's get started. To begin with, I need to choose the skin color that I would like to have on all the photos. For example, this photo taken under direct sun has color of a skin that looks fine to me. I just make it a bit darker. I will take the color of the girl's skin as a reference. The man's skin looks a little redder. I need to load this photo in 3D LUT Creator. I don't want to create unnecessary files, so I will open the photo in Photoshop. Here it is. I crop the part that I need. I'll open 3D LUT Creator and load a photo from Photoshop. I don't need Photoshop anymore, so I'll close it. So what do I want to do in 3D LUT Creator? I want to make a mask that will separate only the skin color I want to get. To do this, I choose Triple Masks, click on the color of the skin with an eyedropper, and turn on the preview. To make the masks work more accurately, I increase the LUT size in the settings. I'll set 40. The program will work a little slower, but it's okay. Okay, so here's my skin tone now. I'll try to narrow the mask so that other colors don't get into it. To move two curve points at once, I hold the Alt key. I'll try to narrow the range of colors. Now, I also narrow the saturation range. I leave the brightness range as is. This will be a kind of marker for the exposure. As you can see, I only have a lit part of the face selected. The mask got darker in the areas where the skin is redder, on the cheeks of the bride and on the face of the groom. It is important that the color that suits me is white in the mask, and the color that differs from the reference color, for example, the color of the man's face, is no longer so white. I'm happy with the result. I turn off the preview and now I will do some correction. For example, I'll make everything black. It will be more convenient to invert the mask, that is, the color of the skin remains visible. I raise the curve a little so the photo itself does not disappear at all. So, I have a LUT that highlights the areas where the skin gets in the right range of hue, saturation, and brightness. Now, I need to save it as an ICC profile. I click Save 3D LUT and select ICC Profile Type. I will save it to a folder where all the Windows color profiles are located. You can see how to get into this folder in the video about the color profiles for Capture One. I name this profile Skin Check and Save It. Now I need to choose the profile type. Since I will use this profile as a soft proof, I need to select either Printer or Display Profile. Okay, I return to Lightroom and restart it to see my profile. Lightroom restarted. To apply this profile, I need to press the S key. It turns on the soft proof mode. Here I select the profile. Here is the list of profiles installed on the system. I'll check my new profile and click OK. As you can see, the profile is already applied. The areas in the photo where the skin color matches the reference skin tone have been highlighted. Now I can change the color of the photo and see if the skin gets in the range I need or not. In this lesson, I will use only the white balance and exposure correction for the simplicity. You can use other tools for fine-tuning if you need. So, if I make the white balance colder then, as you can see, the skin gets the wrong color and the selection disappears from it. Here's how the photo looks without soft proof. To switch between view modes, I press the S key. So now my task is to set the white balance to highlight as much of the skin tone as possible. Since I made a selection from this photo, nothing needs to be changed on it. So I'll go back to the first photo and go through them one by one. I press S. Here, the skin is already in the right range. I'll try to adjust it a little. 
If I increase the exposure, the selection expands, which means that the color is getting closer to the desired one. For example, like this. I go to the next photo. The exposure also needs to be adjusted here. And I can bring back highlights a little. Next photo. I also need to correct the exposure. There is a strong light glare from the sun, so I set the blacks. And I will restore the highlights. Next photo. The skin tone is almost fine here. Go to the next photo. Here again the exposure differs. The fact that the highlight on the face does not fall into the mask is normal. This photo is taken outdoors with natural light, so there is a cool shade on the highlights. I'll try to make the white balance warmer to fix the cooler areas. For example, like this. This is the before. That is the after. I started with this photo, so it's okay. Next photo was taken indoors. I need to increase the exposure here. The groom skin does not fall into my color range at all, because his face was lit by another flash. So I will use the local correction. I will slightly reduce the exposure and increase the color temperature. Now I can fix the areas that do not fall into the skin mask. I will decrease the exposure a little. This is the before, and that is the after. As you can see, I easily brought the color of the skin to one color. I paint a little here too. The same can be done on the hand. Next one. In this photo, there are cold reflexes from the sky on the face but the dress already has a warm cast, so I will fix the face locally. I will use the brush where the skin doesn't fit the selection. Here is the image without the local correction, and there it is with it. To reduce the color variation, I will make the temperature even higher and decrease the saturation. I will create one more local correction in order to fix areas where my correction did not work the first time. Now I will slightly reduce the exposure of the entire photo. You can even reduce the corrections a little. This is the before, and that is the after. Next photo. It is clearly overexposed and the color is too warm. I lower the temperature. I remove the haze from the photo. I still need to lower the temperature a little. For example, like this. I go further. Here I need to increase the exposure. The white balance here is almost correct.
I restore the highlights. Next photo. It's needed to fix both the temperature and the exposure. Before, after. Here is the photo in the room taken with flashes. I will fix the white balance. There is a purple tint caused by flashes, so I need to move the tint slider to the green. Before, after. Here is the photo in the shade. Exposure, white balance, and I will restore the highlights. Before, after. This is the evening photo. I will set the exposure and white balance. And the last photo. There is a light from green lanterns on the face. Exposure, white balance. And now I will try to get rid of this green reflex. I move the tint correction to purple. This is before, and that is the after. Let's now take a look at all the photos in a row. As you can see, the skin color doesn't change. Everything looks like a single series, although it was shot in different conditions. Of course, not all the nuances of the lighting are corrected simply by the white balance and exposure. Possibly the saturation or HSL correction would be useful in some cases. I just showed you a way that will allow controlling the result not with the eyes. Eyes get tired and get accustomed. We perceive colors in different ways depending on different lighting conditions. That is, it is much easier to be objective with this approach. In addition, you can make a more complex LUT that will check not only the color of the skin, but also the color of the neutrals, for example, the color of the dress. In this case, you will have to use more corrections to match multiple colors. At a minimum, you need to use white balance and saturation but the result will be even more correct and stable. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. I hope that this lesson was useful to you. Goodbye.